Tell him I need to confess something. What did you do? I feel like the worst person in the world. You didn't kill someone, did you? Come to think of it, where is Seb? Seb's behind the camera. Oh yeah, hi Seb. Okay, I don't like Telltale's Game of Thrones. What? I know! I've read all the books, I've seen all of the show, I'm teaching myself Dothraki, which is an actual thing you can do, you know? I just, I'm not feeling it, and I'm trying to figure out why. And I think I know. Go on then, tell me all about it. Dothralates! You nerd. It is known. I bought the whole season up front. I kind of liked the first episode, it laid a lot of groundwork, it had a twist that Martin himself would have been proud of, and it introduced a whole bunch of new characters. Maybe too many. I get that they're mimicking the throne style of different viewpoints dotted all around the map and whatever, but five playable characters? That just seems excessive. And they all look exactly the same. So, positives then. The world certainly looks and feels the part. The music's great, and the remade intro is a nice touch. But... Um, for starters, the characters. House Forrester is basically House Stark 2.0, and you'd think that'd be okay because the Starks are like these cool northerners. Get to the point. Anyway, the Foresters fall foul of the same problem I have with most of Telltale's protagonists. They just feel too passive. Granted that's so you can pour yourself into each character and mold your own story, but the characters by themselves should have other redeeming traits than boy, bearded boy, and girl. The best sequences are the encounters with characters like Cersei, Tyrion, and Jon Snow. Not just because they're familiar faces, but because they're interesting. They have personality and motives that they don't wear on their sleeves. But my main problem is with the story, or rather, that we've seen it all before. The foresters are conveniently placed in the exact areas where sh** hits the fan. The game starts at the Red Wedding. Garrett is gonna be involved in the Battle at the Wall. Mira's gonna be involved in the Purple Wedding. Well, you don't know that. Oh, come on, it's all just too convenient. While they're exciting plot points that we all discussed around the water cooler, this'll be the third time we've seen them play out. There's no real surprise coming. Even if stuff happens directly to the Forrester family, I just don't feel committed enough to them to really care. Which, you know, kind of sounds awful when you put it like that. We've read the books, we've seen the show, and now we've played the game. For me, it's just too much. I'd rather it take in the Walking Dead approach, loosely tied into the show and comics, but directly avoiding the main events. In Instead, we've just got a very pretty game of Game of Thrones. And also that song at the end really made me cringe. From eyes, from eyes, we so what you're saying is you don't like Game of Thrones because it's too much like Game of Thrones? Yes. But it has none of the suspense of Game of Thrones because we already know what's gonna happen, so it just feels like filler. Anyway, I hope I'm wrong and that the season gets better, but episodes one and two have not filled me with confidence. Also, now I have semantic satiation for the phrase Game of Thrones. I don't know what that means. Valar Morghulis. Valar Doheris.